Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, Monday, October 31st at about 9 a.m. Pacific Time, looking at the gold. This is the GLD. Uh, we came up here last week and uh, broke through this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and now we're having a pullback day, uh, down a little over 1% here. Uh, our next area of resistance will be this upper trend line um, just below us here, and then down here at our uh, 100 day which is the green dotted line and where the red line the 21 day are converging so that's at about hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents here on the GLD so we're experiencing a normal pullback volume has been tapering off uh, it's too early to tell what the volume will be today but it has been below average volume here and tapering off so we do have gold in a slight uptrend um, got ahead of this upper trend line here a sign of power and having a natural sort of um, consolidation around the 50-day moving average this is all very uh, expected and a good thing to digest uh, this big move up off the bottom here so expect more consolidation uh, in this area looking now at a weekly chart we can see um, the uh, trend line that I drew uh, going along the uh, the lows uh, for the past uh, a year or so and uh, you can see this uh, double test uh, tested down here at 154.19 came back up uh, got above the 40 week moving average came back down retested and now we've bounced up uh, getting almost to this upper trend line again uh, and then uh, hovering right here at this 10 week moving average of course uh, during the summer we got way above this upper trend line uh, too much optimism in the market that needed to be digested and corrected taking us all the way back down to the lower trend line which held and has held twice in recent uh, weeks so very good sign here expect consolidations down here uh, in between the 10 and 20 week moving averages and looking at a longer term perspective on gold uh, this is a monthly chart uh, taking us back on on this uh, screen you'll see it back into 2004 so you can see the solid uptrend that has been in place uh, really respecting this uh, 10 month moving average here uh, which we came down and tested uh, here last month and got close uh, uh, in October um, but uh, up above the uh, red line the four month moving average as well so gold clearly still in its uptrend looking now at silver this is the SLV um, came up off the bottom like the gold um, now we're correcting back a little bit uh, natural reaction uh, after this uh, nice move here it didn't quite uh, touch up here in uh, the 200 day and uh, where the 50 day moving average come together here a little over $35 got up to 34.44 and uh, just short of that decided to pull back uh, of, uh, in light volume so far uh, a natural natural pullback here let's see where this reaction takes us uh, could correct back down here um, to the next point of resistance would be uh, at the uh, 21 day moving average at around $31.20 but that is moving higher so um, uh, silver going through a little bit of consolidation here looking at a weekly chart of the SLV uh, we can see this uh, bit of an uptrend in place uh, like the gold and uh, we can see the uh, natural resistance coming here this uh, dark blue line uh, the 10 week moving average so butting up against that uh, having a little pullback here and uh, let's see if it has some strength to push on up above this uh, uh, today or, or this week and if not expect, expect a correction down into uh, the mid uh, $30 range here uh, the lower trend line which would not be uh, out of the uh, ordinary to have that and when we go to a monthly chart of the silver uh, we can see we're up 18% uh, this month uh, bouncing here uh, off this 20 month moving average um, on, on the monthly graph uh, uh, any kind of a close below the 20 month is uh, is bearish uh, for for the metal here or any uh, a stock or commodity so we've been above that uh, for quite some time here you have to go all the way back in here to early 2009 to get below the 20 month moving average so that has been holding so the uptrend in silver is continuing despite all this massive volatility that we've seen here uh, we did come up to almost fifty dollars and pulled back uh, down into I believe it was about the $26 uh, $26.15 so um, quite a nasty pullback uh, we're coming back into the mid-range of that pullback though so um, uh, certainly some closes above the 10 month moving average this blue line will be very positive for silver moving on now to the S&P 500 uh, down about 1.3 percent 
and uh, we had a little trend going here, um, broke this downtrend here a couple of weeks ago and uh, got a little uptrend going here, uh, got extended a bit above that, uh, clearing uh, this 200 day moving average. Now we're getting a pullback uh, and so far finding support at this 200 day moving average. Um, <clears throat> So that this is pretty much normal stuff. Uh, we do have uh, light volume so far. It's too early to tell really today. But we had a, a falling off on volume on Friday as it pulled back, failed to reach another new high. So that was called an inside day. And now we're consolidating further. But so far getting support at this uh, black dotted line, the 200 day moving average. Next support would come in at the 100 day moving average, which is currently at about $123. So um, uh, the S&P 500 doing a very normal uh, uh, correction. Um, if we draw a trend line up off of these lows here, you'll see that it comes in at about $126 would be further support here. So we are up above all these key moving averages, which will provide uh, support uh, should we get a, a deeper pullback. Uh, we have our next support coming in here at this upper trend line here at about 126 uh, if it fails to uh, to hold here at the 200 at about 126.50. Uh, uh, your next support would come in uh, down here uh, maybe get a little bit at the 21 day moving average at about $121 and uh, further support down here at the 50. Uh, a lot of traders will uh, support something they feel is going higher at the 50 day moving average which is currently at about 119. So lots of Lots of support under us should we get a steeper pullback. And looking at a monthly chart of the S&P 500, we can see the massive volatility uh, in the past several months here. As it fights a battle to stay up above its 20-month moving average, which it, which it has, it will close above that this month, which is a great sign. Uh, last month we did close below it, um, but we fought back and a very wide range here um, uh, of price movement. Uh, which we haven't really seen uh, since the uh, massive uh, uh, falls um, uh, back in late 2008, early 2009. So we're still not out of the woods yet. Uh, on a monthly chart, you can see this sort of rounding top here. Uh, we need to break that pattern. Um, you know, if next month we kind of get up here and, and maybe take out this high here and this high here, um, traders will get a lot more bullish on on uh, the S&P 500. So right now. Kind of a rounding top uh, could send us lower, uh, you never know. This big uh, comeback here was actually on lighter volume uh, than the previous month, um, and certainly a lot less volume than this big drop here uh, several months ago. So um, S&P still vulnerable here. And we've all heard about the uh, massive banking problems going on over in Europe, and their uh, answer has been to inject uh, uh, more funds uh, into it uh, to try to uh, keep everything together. Uh, this is, um, you know, chasing a, uh, a debt problem with more debt. Um, I don't believe it's going to work myself. Um, but also on the flip side, you know, by stimulating so much, uh, by printing uh, so much money, they could send asset prices uh, higher, uh, even though the value of the underlying currency could uh, could drop. So you have a double-edged sword here. Um, so, uh, you know, S&Ps could go higher, stocks could go higher, um, just based upon uh, the massive money printing going on. But should there be a loss of faith in, uh, in currencies and in, uh, in stocks, uh, in equities, uh, prices could go much lower. So it's a wait and see uh, here. Um, let's see how far this pullback takes us and uh, more uh, at a later date.